Oh my God. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Let's hope he wets himself. <laughs> so All much. of this is going in the video. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> this is a famous street, Adrian. It's like neighbors or something. <laughs> is it? This is Ramsey Street. Well, hello there. This is Annie, and this is Annie's World Journeys, and uh, we're back with a little bit more of Melbourne Revealed to finish off 2022. And I am joined by none other than... Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. I'm actually not. He's not high. No, I'm driving. He's driving, Adrian. I'm driving, Adrian. He's driving this Adrian. We're driving... Driving this Adrian. Driving this Adrian around the bend. <laughs> now, in today's very special episode of Melbourne Revealed, where are we going, Adrian? Well, apparently it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Mm. I haven't actually told Adrian. And he's going to be... He's, when he finds out, uh, how happy are you going to be? Oh, I'm either going to wet myself or leave you there. Okay. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that possibility. Well, maybe both. <laughs> Let's hope he wets himself. <laughs> anyway, we are driving along Springvale Road, um, and uh, very soon we'll be making a right hand turn in the next five minutes or, or so. Well, obviously, because we're going to, um, where was it again? Okay, folks, we are approaching our destination, which you will know already because it'll like be in the title of this vlog. But there's one person who doesn't know. There is the beautiful Mount Mount Dandenong in the uh, distance here. What's up with Nana Wadding, I think? Here it is, right here on our left. This is where we're going. This street. Pinot Court. Yeah. What the fuck? Let's see when if if the, if if it's uh, if the if the if the if the penny drops or not, as it may be. It's looking a bit dreary today, isn't it? What, what are we actually looking for? Well, if you don't know, Adrian... I actually don't. This is, this is what we're looking for, this street. Why? Adrian doesn't know. This is a famous street, Adrian. It's like neighbours or something. <laughs> is it? This is Ramsey Street. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Look, I doubt very much that they've ever had people just randomly walk up and down the street before, so we better be. <laughs> Look where we are. We're in Ramsey's. Look, it's, it's better outside, like. I don't remember that little. Gatehouse. And there's someone, he knows why we're here. This is Pin Oak Court yes. in Nanawadding. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you for driving us here, Adrian. I'm sorry that it was so underwhelming for you. Um, but no, I know there are people over there, probably in the UK, who think that this is the coolest thing ever. Well, and look, I, look, look, it just didn't look like Ramsey Street to me because there's things that obviously have changed. And the weather. The weather, the green fence. That was never there. Um, that thing with the flowers on it. I, I don't know, I think that might have been there. So over there, look, I, I can't... Do you know I, who lived in which house? I know that this here was, uh, this one I'm pointing at right now with yep. the veranda. That was the Ramsey house. Right. From the very start, the Ramseys lived there, Max Ramsey, and I just read that this morning online. So um, that's why I know, oh, I believe that that's it, but I, I couldn't really tell you who lives there. Uh, I've got a feeling this might be the Kennedy address. Where, where did Toady live? I want to visit Toady. Well, I'm going to say this house. It actually, not I because think, I have any idea. But I think you might be right. Do you think he's still there, like just not wanting to leave? It's like... Because that's the only career he ever knew and he doesn't want to go. Nobody wants to employ him to act in anything else. Is that what no, you say? Well, like, you Come on, got, he's, I'm sure he's... I heard he's a lovely guy. He got pigeonholed in that role, though. Oh, look, he probably is a lovely guy, but I mean, he did that role since he was like I, three months old. The, the amazing thing about this show is the fact that, that the actors and actresses... Well, they're just actors now. Um, stayed for as long as they did. Like... Whatever happened to Bouncer? 
Yeah, yeah. I was like, if we, if we do see a Labrador, it's Bouncer. We've got to hit it with a car, right? <laughs> that, didn't Bouncer die? <laughs> What I can t what I can tell everyone is right there on that on that balcony just there in the very final episode of Neighbours that I didn't really watch but I found it online and I flicked through it to see all the people coming back mm -hmm. mainly for Holly Valance I've got to be honest with yeah, you yeah a bit hot yeah um, and anyway Scott and Charlene oh they were standing on they the were standing on that very balcony veranda thing just there yes they were so they were and what's his name came back Finn who was dead. But he oh, came oh, back as a ghost. Her. Yeah, and Madge did too. Yeah, Madge yeah, came back right. as a ghost. She came back as a ghost as well. Bella, um, and today I am here with with none other than Ian Smith, Harold Bishop himself. Yeah. It's Jelly Belly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to say, when I when Madge came back in that last episode, I turned off all that. Oh, I've already <laughs> shut myself. Um, <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that this here is one of the houses too and somebody's pulling out. Yeah. So um let's not film them. Um, it's you know what though, like some of these places, like let's be honest here, this one here, mm -hmm. like if if it wasn't for neighbours, they would have ripped that house down, yeah? Yeah. They probably had a contract that said nobody can knock their house down because we have to film here. But they probably weren't even allowed to do much changing of like things like putting in a new fence and stuff like that because mm -hmm. they wanted to keep the look the same. So they probably put that in immediately after the last episode. But it's not like the people who live on Ramsey Street, like in the fictional universe, mightn't have thought at some point, I might do a renovation. Yeah, I know, but I think, you know, they don't want to do that to people because it's a, it's a major script change. True. Makes sense to me now. Dad jokes. Everybody, Everybody needs a good dad, dad joke. Jokes. Now, uh, the idea I thought for this was like, I know there'd be some people who literally would come from overseas and go, I want to go to Ramsey Street. And I know that because I met a backpacker back in 1999 who came and stayed with me the next year. And I said to her, tell me what is one place you'd really love to go in Melbourne? And she said, Ramsey Street. And we took her here. Uh, she underwhelmed? No. Oh, really? She oh, no. She was, she was like, oh, my God, I'm on Ramsey Street. Um, Look, I actually, like, for some reason, I thought Ramsey Street was bigger as well. Like, it's smaller when it's not on the television. Maybe we could steal a lemon from Ramsey Street. There's that Ramsey Street lemon tree there. They did a lot of, I think, angles and aerial shots and stuff to make it look bigger in the show. It's actually quite small. It's a, it's a little court. Yeah. Let me show you the, 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 the road here. See how we've got all these tracks. That's from the number of cars that have come here and done a little circle around and gone, oh my God, I'm in Ramsey Street. Oh, okay. I thought it was from Charlene doing donuts. Well, they used to do bus tours and stuff like here, which is, um, wow. Like, I mean, they, they couldn't fit many buses up here, could they? But people used to literally jump on buses to do fucking tours here. Okay, well, they still do the tours. And if you are interested in Neighbours, genuinely, mm -hmm. um, you can, I don't know who they are, but there's people, it starts off in the city. So it starts off in the centre of town. So if you stay in the centre of town, they'll take you out. They'll bus you out here. And they'll also bus you uh, across. And that's where we're going to go next. Mm -hmm. uh, we won't be there for long, but uh, we're going to go and see uh, where the studios are, where they actually shot Neighbours. Right, yep, yep. Okay, because they're actually not very far from here at all, which makes sense, obviously, because they have to come down. They don't, they don't want to They don't want to be filming 100 miles away from the main location. No. Um, but all the Lasseter stuff, uh, the Waterhole, Harold's Cafe, which I didn't even know existed <laughs> until I did is a little it, bit. Is it a real cafe? No, it's not a real cafe. Yeah, that's oh, what I was I about to I, I would be perfect. That would have been, that's what I was hoping for when I came up with the idea for this vlog. But unfortunately, it's all a closed studio set. Like around, there's a, tile, there's a small lake and everything. Um, and I'll show you from Google, Google Earth or whatever, Google Maps will actually show you uh, you can see where that little lake is, the Lassiters. So, so that was, um, it's basically part of the, next to the, in, it's part of the studios. Right. I, don't, I don't think we'll get a, a good look at it, um, but we, we can try. Anyway, Ramsey Street for you folks. <clears throat> Everybody, we're gonna be looking at this, uh, this side here. I'm going to put the window down to, so, so, well, we are going to get out, so, oh, it's just here, it's, oh, it's just, just here. here, look oh. at it, well, oh, you probably out? don't want to, this is, yeah, no, yeah. I won't go in there, but, no, it's, it's still actually operating as a studio, so, so keep going up this way, yeah, keep going up this way, no worries.
My my understanding is, folks, that in here behind this, oh, see, it's down there, stop, stop, right there. Okay, folks, I'm gonna show you. That tram right down there is the tram that uh, features prominently in Neighbours in recent years. Okay, uh, so just to the side there, you'll find Lassiter's and stuff. Is Are you impressed? I am, and... and it's actually frustratingly, uh, but if you do do a Neighbours tour, okay, if you do do a Neighbours tour, uh, you get to go in to the whole Lassiter's thing, and they're still doing them. So... And are they serving food? Is Harold there serving food? Well, I, I don't know that, ha I mean, Harold hasn't been in the show for like, I don't know how long. Folks, folks, exciting news. Exc oh, here we're we going gorilla here, folks. We actually have found a suburban street that backs onto the neighbor's set. Oh. Seriously, this is, I'm not making this up. I, uh, I'll show you, I'm sure I can find some pictures of the front of the set, right? This is the neighbor's set, right? This is the neighbor's set, the, like the outdoor set now. I don't know if that says Harold's Cafe or something like that, but look, they're still keeping it. Wow, this is, um. You could tell because, like, they've got fake doors. Like, there's a fake door. Yeah, yeah. And maybe if we go around there, we'll just. There we go. There's the um, folks. There across is. That's where Charlene worked. That's where Charlene worked. Uh, I believe Lou owned it for a time. You know, that's an iconic place. Wow. And look, here's a here's a car from the very first episode of Neighbours in 1985. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We are gorilla shooting folks folks there you go neighbors for you right um and i'll put the um right now as you're watching the name of the street that we're we, we're at the end of so that you too can go and have this amazing experience if you don't want to spend money on a tour um how awesome is that Bring some things, covers, wire covers. yeah that's all we need yeah let's do it <laughs> it's not going to happen, folks. I love your fence. There's Adrian. Hi. I'm scared. How about that? Grease monkeys through to cafe. Maybe that's what it says on the on the sign. Yeah, I think it does. I think I can see an M O N K. Yes, grease monkeys. There you go. Folks, when it comes to guerrilla filming, nobody does it as good as Adrian and Andrew. No, no, we've been everywhere, mate. Well, we've been in Nanawati. Good morning, yes. <laughs> could've, anything could have happened, then Bouncer could have Bouncer could have jumped the fence or ripped my face off. Anything. We put our lives at risk every day for this stuff. Yeah. Or Paul Robinson could have been mean and evil to me, exactly. like he has to so many oh, people he in neighbours. He carries a grudge. He, he, he would, until the day he died, he would just make our lives hell. He would. Yeah. He would stop at nothing. Nothing. He'd be suing us. There's even characters that come back after they die. And they would be on our ass. I mean, mm. shit. Well, right? be, uh, he'd be on their ass, though. Yeah, well, Robinson, that's right. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Robinson. Yeah. Food. So, food. So, folks, Adrian, what did you think? Were you absolutely mesmerised by the star quality that is Ramsey Street? It, um, it, it took my breath away. Oh, it certainly did. He's yeah. been a zombie ever since. It was an experience that, that I... Thank you. Anyway. Experience I couldn't have had anywhere else. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Thank you, Adrian, and thank you, Pleasure. Colin, the viewer, for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. And um, How are I'll you, Colin, you... by the way? Oh, sorry. No, 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 please, please. People want this video to go longer. I, do, I just wanted to see how Colin was going, but no, please go. He's got a, um, he's, he's, he's having a procedure. Mm -hmm. He's having a colonoscopy. Oh my god, yeah, it is time to end the video. Thanks for joining me today, Adrian. Thank you for joining me, Colin. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, take care. Hopefully you can hear me over the noise. May the journey never end.